And now I'm going to talk to you about how to create prompt widgets. So I'm going to create a new widget and its parent class is going to be UINF prompt widget. I'm going to call it W my prompt. Open it up. I'm going to add a canvas panel. I'm going to add two buttons or rather two UINF components. This one's going to be no, and this one is going to be yes. Keep in mind that UINF prompt widgets have an optional text and message text block element. And if you add those to the widget, you can specify a text and a message to be shown with your prompt. So I'm going to add those. going to call this title text to duplicate this this is going to be the message I'm going to call it message text And now we're going to go back to our widget. I'm going to remove these components for now. And I'm going to use the onSelect event to, instead of going to another widget, I'm going to call go to prompt widget, which is similar to the go to widget node, but it's specifically made for prompt widgets. I'm going to specify a title and a message. And now I'm going to drag off of the event node. I'm going to create a custom event. I'm going to drag off of the prompt data. I'm going to cast to prompt data binary. Keep in mind that prompt widgets can return different types of prompt data. You can create your own prompt data if you want to return more than just a yes or no. In this case, I just want a yes or no. So I'm going to cast to prompt data binary. I'm going to use a pure cast actually. I'm going to drag off of this, get the accept property and then I'm just going to print different things depending on whether you accepted and I also need to specify a prompt class so I'm going to use w my prompt and when I press play and then select one of the options, the prompt widget is going to show up. I'm going to select no. And as you can see up there, it will say rejected. But if I select yes instead, it will say accepted. 
keep in mind that you can change these parameters a little bit you can change you can set it to remove the parent of course like with the normal go to widget node and you can also change the behavior of your prompt widget a little bit so one one thing you can do is you can specify whether the first component is an accept component or not because the first button in our hierarchy is the no button we want this to be false but if you switch up the order keep in mind they will also have to update this property another thing is that by default the widget will use the on select and the on return events to communicate that the prompt has been decided and they will call process prompt widget selected and it will just send the prompt data you can create your own prompt data you can create a binary prompt data from an accept node for instance uh, but you can also create your own prompt data and just pass it here uh, and you can also override the on select or on return events to do other things other than just other than just processing the prompt widget selected and that's pretty much all there is to know about prompt widgets.